हेलो यंग लॉर्ड्स लर्नर्स एंड व्यूअर्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट माय ग्रैंड मदर्स हाउस कंपोज बाय कमला दास कमला दास वॉज ए ग्रेट इंडियन पोएट नॉवेलिस्ट शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर एसेस्ट एंड मेमोरिस्ट से वो मिनी अवार्ड्स चीफ एमंग देम आ केरला साहित्य एकेडमी अवार्ड फॉर अ स्टोरी भयालर अवार्ड कमला मार्कंडे वाज सेल्फ स्कूल्ड कमला दास वाज सेल्फ स्कूल्ड she has studied at home she has spent her life first in kerala in india and later in kolkata kamla das was born On thirty first March, nineteen hundred thirty four, at uh, Punayur Kulam in Kerala, she died on thirty first May, two thousand nine, in Pune, India. The name of her asparagus. वाज माधव दास होली फ्रॉम 1949 टू 1992 माधव दास वाज अ बैंक ऑफिसर कमला दास सेलिब्रेटेड sexuality and female sex she broke the taboos of uh, with her uh, with her early poetry she celebrated uh, sexuality and advised women to gift him what makes you woman the scent of long hair the musk of sweat between the breasts the warm shock of menstrual blood and all your endless female hunger it occurs in the looking glass from the descendants appeared in 1967 the kamla das was a poet who openly talked about sexuality and female sex her poetry uh describes female sexuality openly very few poets have broken the taboos with the female sexuality female sexuality 
has been a subject of secret for long. It was Kamla Das who openly celebrated sexuality and female sex in her poetry. Now let me talk about the poem my grandmother's house. Kamla Das wrote this poem my grandmother's house to describe her childhood. Kamla Das lived with her grandmother in Kolkata. It is the house, it is the grandmother's house where Kamla Das received her first love. She thinks that this is the house which gave her liberty and freedom, love and affection. But after the death of her grandmother, this house remained deserted. No one was there to live in that house. The house had beautiful collection of books. But those days, Kamla Das was too young to study those books. <clears throat> in the house, the serpent moved around the books, through the rooms, windows and doors. The speaker, who is the poet is herself, visage or longs to have that freedom, that liberty. She says that uh, she gets love at a stranger's house after her marriage. She says that she is in chain there. She has no freedom and liberty which she had in her grandmother's house. Kamla Das remembers those days which she has spent in her grandmother's house. Though she has grown older, she still longs for the childhood life that she lived and spent in her grandmother's house. The poem is composed in a very colloquial style. The phrases such as uh, frozen air, uh, um, dark windows, um, make the poem beautiful. To conclude, my grandmother's house is a beautiful poem that deals with the love, the affection that she received in the house of her grandmother. The poem is very artistic. Thanks a lot.